Hey TikTok viewers, this is Dan and this is our review and demonstration of the new Samsung Bespoke AI Jetbot Combo Mop and Vacuum. So this is the latest iteration of Samsung's Robot AI Vacuum Cleaner, but this features not only a vacuum, but also a mop with a station that allows you to automatically fill water. Please attach the clean water tank. There you go. Here's a dirty water tank. Please attach the waste water tank. And a dustbin. Please which close the top cover of the dust bin. is smart enough to detect our cleaning station here. Uh, not only does it uh, mop, but it can also detect what surface it's on, which is perfect for situations where we have tile and carpet. And what it does is it actually lifts up the mopping pads on the back of the unit and allows it to vacuum without interfering so you can see actually the station down here where these mopping pads on the underside of the robot um, enable it to auto fill water and dispense water and scrub the floor without actually any manual cleaning which is pretty nice uh, these will automatically detach and this station here features a steam cleaner to allow it to use hot water to clean off the pads and it sucks it up into the dirty water uh, receptacle. Uh, a little brush here helps with the vacuuming and like the other JetBot series, this features LiDAR. Um, and I'll correct my review this time that not like your Tesla, which we now have, uh, which does not feature LiDAR, uh, this uses LiDAR and also uh, video sensors to navigate and its literate uh, its latest iteration does a very good job in object de detection as well as pathfinding um, and the smart things samsung app allows you to map out your room detecting obstacles and determining go and no go um, places so uh, the jetbot uh, ai will see it in demonstration make some comments um, also uh, help you troubleshoot a nuance that originally when I unpack this, the uh, clean water tank was not detectable because a sensor magnet had fallen out one of the grooves. Actually, before we start off there, I'll show that to you. So the clean water tank on the outside here has this little magnet right down there. And this magnet can slide out the bottom of this tank right here and with, I don't know if it's tacked on with glue, but that little round magnet, if it's not secure, can sometimes fall into the bottom of this tank. And that's where I found it. And it, without that magnet, the sensor didn't recognize it. So pretty easy, I shoved it back in there and now it works again. But if your water tank is not being detected, it's probably because that magnet fell out. So you either contact Samsung if you've lost that magnet or find that magnet, shove it back in there. Maybe a little bit of a glue gun to just keep it from falling out would be uh, a design change here. But let's take a look at the robot in action. Let's see how it does mopping as well as navigating between tile and carpet. So I'll set up to clean through the app as I demonstrate now. So the first part of the cycle is that it's washing the wet mop and it's just cleaning the wastewater right now, cycling through those pads before it gets started. Total time about two minutes. Finding the current location. It took about two minutes to get ready. Proceeding with dust suction and wet mopping. So now it's gonna vacuum and mop. You can see those spin brushes kind of working on the back here. See it navigate around the chair here, and you can see the a little bit of water on the surface here as it's wet mopping. Okay, it's about to approach a boundary region here as it gets to the carpet. 
Let's see what it does. So it lifts up its mops, it stops the mops, and it starts the vacuum mode. As you see, it transitions here and the back mops are not spinning anymore. So now we're into vacuum. And again, you can see the back mop heads are lifted up. And detect it was back on solid ground again. And then once it's partially on carpet, it lifts up its mop brushes and switches one mode to the other. So we moved the table away and it was smart enough even within its navigation system to start vacuuming the spot that the table was in even though previously the mapped area had the table within it so its object recognition does recognize that an obstacle has now been cleared despite its prior mapping and as such it's backtracking to the table spot and actually hitting the spot in the room map that it had not cleaned previously so it does have a intelligent mapping system that is constantly updated by its ob object recognition vision and lidar system overall the battery life is pretty good this whole room took about 10 percent of its battery so it still can do a couple more rooms before even charging and for this area here with its water use uh, it still has a medium amount of water within it So even if it does run out of battery or runs out of water, it can always return to its base station, recharge and continue its cycle. So this is very low maintenance and pretty smart cleaning system. We still have our JetBot AI for upstairs. And now we have this JetBot AI combo mop and vacuum for downstairs which is perfect for our household here, especially since we have the tile floors on the main floor here, with some carpeted areas just to keep it a little bit more cozy. Well, rugs, if you will. Oh, I guess it wants to clean the carpet and it's going to drop off its mops. So let's watch it do that. It's going to have to turn itself around. So I think it's going to drop its mops. Auto dustbin.
Okay, I think it dropped its uh, mop heads. Okay, here is its purge cycle for dirty water. Alright, so that was about another minute and a half to empty the bins. And it looks like it has dropped its mops on the stands. You can see them over here. And now it doesn't have its mops, so it's going to go into vacuum mode more efficiently here. And I'm just going to do another round here, just vacuuming. So let's take a look at the app. The app features a interface in which the jet mop can map out your local layout of your room design. Once the jet mop actually starts cleaning, a 3D view also is available where you actually can see where the mop has cleaned and where it's traveled. This is mainly just for fun. After spending two weeks with Samsung's JetBot AI combo, we found that its simplicity is probably its greatest strength. Just fill up the tanks of water, empty the dirty water, empty the waste bin, and let it do its own thing. It will map out your surroundings and create a 3D environment for you to clean, uh, both by vacuuming and also sweeping and mopping any surfaces around your area. All of the extra AI and um, extra features are just behind the scenes, and that's probably a good thing. Gone are uh, any live video feeds or monitoring of cats and dogs through video images. Uh, this, at its core, is a mop and a vacuum, and the less I need to pay attention to it, the better this actually operates. So uh, kudos to Samsung for designing a simple product. Downside of this is that ultimately the mopping is for light duty. It's not going to replace hard scrubbing and caked in stains, but this will keep your floors refreshed and with a vacuum function, be able to pick up the debris on the ground without you having to pre-sweep and then mop. So it is a time saving device that if done regularly can help the upkeep of the floors. Downside of the product is its hefty sticker shock. It is a top of the line product that Samsung makes and it's priced accordingly. Retail price is $16.99. So hopefully that price comes down as there are cheaper alternatives that including manual mopping and manually vacuuming. But if the future of robot cleaning is like the JetBot Combo AI, this is a a good start. The less I have to do to clean up the house ultimately will be better and these iterations of AI robots might just do the trick in the future when we actually see our Jetsons nanny cleaning up our entire house for us. And until then we'll keep reviewing whatever comes our way and um, this is our review and demonstration of the JetBot AI combo. Thanks for watching. Leave your comments below, your questions, and we'll see you next time on our next Tech Talk video.